Uh, there is hope for thousands of Kenyans who had been denied essential medical services such as dialysis after medical equipment procured under the MES scheme broke down. This as governors and the Ministry of Health finally agreed to extend the period for usage of the medical equipment service by another six months. In a meeting held at the Kenya School of Government in Kabete, chaired by Health CS Susan Nahumicha and COG Chair Anne Waiguru, the parties brokered a deal to have counties pay half the amount that will be charged to operate the ser and service the machines, while the national government pays the other half. Stephen Leto has more. A day-long meeting held at the Kenya School of Government brought together representatives from the Council of Governors, the Ministry of Health and the vendors in the Medical Equipment Service Scheme. In the meeting, the two levels of government brokered a deal to have the MES program extended, unlocking a stalemate that was threatening to paralyze most health facilities in the 47 counties and deny thousands of Kenyans critical medical services across the country. In the extension plan, both levels of government agreed to extend the period to cover the remaining six months of the current financial year. The payments resulting from the extension, according to the meeting held in camera, will be shared between counties and the national government. The national government will pay for the period between January and March 2024, while counties will pay from March 2024 to June 2024. According to the meeting, new mass contracts will be advertised in the financial year 2024-2025. Vendors and suppliers who attended the joint meeting expressed some level of comfort but admitted that the program was shrouded with a cloud of uncertainty. They however hoped that by the end of the talks, a final consensus will be reached on the transition to the next phase of the multi-billion shillings program. Stephen Letos, Citizen TV.